Oh, yeah. I don't know what this is. Let's run a knife across it really hard. I know what that is. That's the Patreon money getting spent on something that's not been asked to be bought, but well, it's been a good month. Ooh. That's a hell of a lot of packaging. Like, that's that's a solid inch on either side for whatever the hell's in this. And what the hell is in this, you ask? Oh my god, more packaging. What the hell is in this, you ask? Ring magnets! Oh, okay, so here's the deal with these. See these five little ring magnets? I was told by a little birdie that if you pop one of these onto the back of the magnet structure in the 5X, 58X Jubilees, which is accessible via being a badass. Hold on. Don't break a nail. I don't want to break a nail. I can't break a nail. There we go. One of these. Ugh, hold on. One. One of these. Oh, God, they keep rolling away. Should fit right there and possibly increase the magnetic field of the driver itself and then therefore increase how this the, the strength that the magnet has to do things. We'll find out as I do the other side and actually play it and then put the magnets on. So yeah, that was that's why that's why it was in so much. Magnets magnets are bad news bears for most things. This, however, now, I'm going to spell it properly in the title. The way you should spell the word Neumann is N-O-Y-M-E-N. My Rode M5 microphones that I do every sound demo with, every headphone recording since I went to the, the third revision of the headphone recording rig has been done with Rode microphones. And I love my Rode microphones. Everyone loves Rode microphones. And I decided it was time to really try a big leap not a slight leap like a little leap i was looking at 800 dollars month there's 200 dollars for the pair of the m5s i was looking at 800 dollars for the pair uh, of nt5 nt5s i forget which the model number was of the next level up roads and then popped up in the recent things is like hey about these neumanns these uh 184s and uh neumann berlin well, you're going to see in a second. Hold on. This is sort of me, and this is sort of for the channel. Because I want to hear what $1,600 microphones sound like. Plus, Pasta said she would mukbang with me if I bought them. This is like religious right now. Because I know this company. Even though it should be Newman, it's Neumann. I'm almost afraid. Like, should I ground out on the stove or something? Basically, uh, this 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 sucker is eight hundred dollars. This. Oh my god! It just feels German. Look at the size of that fucking diaphragm. Oh, God. Okay. I will accomplish a sound demo with these. I'm not sure what will get that honor. I'm probably going to play a lot with them on the live stream, which is every Wednesday and Sunday. And then I'm going to do some field recordings because... Yeah, fill me up. Oh, yeah. I'm going to fill you up with fucking audio. Those... Those are a thing. And, like, I don't want to... Oh, that is a thick ball, is what she said. And it comes with Neumann little clip, clip clips. Oh, they say West Germany! Oh, my God, West Germany. These are brand new. These are not old. I have a, a tool that says West Germany. Because West Germany was a thing. Now it's just Germany. Why would it say West Germany? Is this... That's just, I thought that had a thing. Oof. 
I don't, I don't even know, should I grab it from the front? I feel like if I put my thumb on that, it's bad. Let's find out what $1,600 microphones sound like together. Oh, did they scratch it? No, 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 they didn't. I don't know, it feels awkward sliding that in there. Maybe I'll just never put them in things. Yeah, so the Neumanns, <coughs> with a little stamp on there, Super Caroid, Super Caroid, they apparently are the microphone company. Oh, and I was supposed to sign for these because they're so expensive, Amazon was like, we're going to have to have you sign for those, and they were left on my steps. It's great. English, please. The Series 180 condenser microphone, is that for... Oh yeah, because the 183. One, what is this? The 184s? There's 185s? What does that even mean? So there's three different ones. And this is a full range 20 to 20. Technical specs. The reliable transformerless FET 100 circuit design. Very smooth. Zero matching. It's a gradient transducer. Balance output. Three pin. Power supply and cable. Operates on a 48 volt phantom power. Uh, show me pretty pictures. I just feel like, oh, here we go. Some specs, specifications. 20 to 20 uh, with sensitivity 12, 15, 10. 50 ohms impedance, 1,000 ohm load impedance. Signal to noise ratio of 70. I guess that's fine for a mic. Signal to noise ratio A weighted is 79. Equivalent to noise level 24 decibels. Weighted noise level A weighted 15 decibels. Maximum sound pressure level for less than a half a percent of total harmonic distortion. 142 decibels. That's basically inside the exhaust of my car. In it. Which I would never put these, or I'd even try to record, because that's fucking loud, but I, they're too expensive to go and blow up the diaphragms. But 142 decibels? Fuck! Maximum output voltage is 10, supply voltage 48, plus or minus 4, good, nice range. Current consumption is 3.2 milliamp. Um, they weigh 80 grams, and they're 107 millimeters long and 22 across. There we go, there's some pretty things. What am I looking at? Oh, the 80, so there's the, there's the 83s. Wow, those are real flat down to there. And here's the 84s which actually dip quite a bit. I'm sort of upset by that. And there's the 85s. I should see if I could find the 83s. They weren't even on there. Those things are fucking crazy flat. I mean, it's a bigger hump though at 10K, which I mean, in realistic terms, this'll be fine. You don't record down to 20 with the microphone anyway, and it's only down like 5 dB at 50, which is where most speakers roll off anyway. And then keeping that, this upper part flat is what matters. And this is just the fucking, the, the, the fucking spec range for where the frequencies get pulled. And then the hints on microphone maintenance, please use a dust cover. Microphones do not use, microphones not in use should be, should not be left on stand gathering dust. This can prevent the use of the non-fluffy dust cover. When you have a long period of time, you look at dust stored. Under climatic conditions, use a pop screen present. Use, oh, you avoid the use of old windshields as a foam material windshield ages. Wow, a function testing. Microphone not harm, but sound pressure level. You know, sir, use pop test to check whether the microphone is connected. Since the result of sound pressure levels over 140 decibels, um, normal speech is quite sufficient for testing. Do it yourself repairs can be expensive. Unfortunately, do yourself repairs sometimes more harm than good. Uh, regular inspections. I'm sending the microphones regularly in for inspection. As, wow, they want you to send them in. That's that's severe. Got to send my mics in. They got to be checked. So, oof. There's a stick and thing and the other thing I have. And there's the double stick. Should probably look into getting one of those at this point. But yeah, no. And there's a shock mount. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm going to go hook up my West German fucking Neumanns now. The 
first can we admire this wooden box? Cuban cigars don't come in this nice a box. Made in Germany. Ugh. Let's go record some mukbang, baby. Let's go record mukbang.